All right, let's talk about numbers because does that 20 years actually make that big of a difference? The short answer is yes. The long answer is yes. Right now, the standard mortgage is the 30-year fixed mortgage. These are backed entirely by the government. These mortgage programs allow people to secure the funds to purchase homes, and they are made up of two separate parts, the principal and the interest. Now, here's when things get crazy. Let's say you take out a 30-year fixed rate, 500,000 mortgage at a 6.5% interest. Now, obviously, at some point, you're going to pay back the full 500,000, right? But take a guess on how much you would pay in interest over that 30 years. I'll give you a second. Really think. What if I told you that you would have paid over $600,000 in interest alone? Now, let's repeat the same scenario, but this time with the newly projected 50-year mortgage. For the sake of this video, we're going to keep the interest rate the exact same, although with an additional 20 years, the interest rate would completely change. We'll talk about that in part four. Now, with the 50-year mortgage, you will have paid back the $500,000, but you will have paid an additional $1.3 million in interest alone by the end of the loan. Someone's got to call Dr. Evil. I want to pay an additional $1.3 million. Now, even though the amount of interest paid is dramatically different, by almost double, does it really matter? People seem more concerned about solving the problem of the monthly payment over anything else. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and jump over to part three to actually break down the numbers between the 30 and the 50 year mortgage rates. See you there.